Way up. So, BMW hot tub for the Google advert. Did we really fill it up for the first time and have no issues? Mmm, not quite. Secret test. In between takes on the actual video, we're filling it up. We're going to take it for a sneaky little drive. You won't see this in the proper video, because I obviously don't want to give away what driving it's like until the last one. But, you know, we've got to try, haven't we? It's a good job we're not filming this for the proper video. We've left one of the plugs open, so we've got water all over the place, and Rick's not put the seat bolts in. So look, look at it. Look, he's gushing at. This is supposed to be our big tank. Oh, Now look, Rick's just wafting the warmer water round to the driver's side. Under normal circumstances, this would be an absolute crisis, wouldn't it? The car's full of water, Mary. Mary, the car. Who's Mary? <laughs> what do you reckon, little man? Is, is the steering wheel going to get damp? It might get a little bit damp, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more water to go yet. So, hour and 20 minutes later, she's full, she's ready for a spin. <laughs> it's like driving a boat, but there's no sea. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, all going really well, having a right laugh, Morning. and then the engine died. And you can see by the look on my face, I was completely miffed. I'm like, why have I got white smoke and why is the engine dead? The two things shouldn't be connected. All the water's inside the car. How's it getting in the engine? Well, seems I made a small oversight, didn't I? <laughs> we definitely had a bit. Oh my god, the camera lens is covered. <laughs> So, we've had a small issue. Water's been getting in the back of the, uh, the brake master cylinder and then the vacuum system on it has been pumping water into the engine. So every time I put my foot on the brake, <laughs> loads of water in the engine, cue white smoke, engine struggling to fire. But at least we know that now. Now, so we've took the vacuum pipe off, but of course this will make the brakes terrible. And apparently there's a little 12 volt vacuum pump that you can put on these things, because of course, people that do off-roading and get driving through rivers would have the same problem. So hopefully they're going to come to our rescue and I'm going to ring someone up and he's going to go, oh yeah, yeah, we've got some of them here, mate. They're like five pounds. Come, come and pick one up. And I'll be like, yeah, all right then. Right, plan of attack for the brakes. Got ourselves an electric vacuum pump. So we don't have to worry about pumping water into the engine anymore. That's the solution for that. Makes a bit of a racket there. But if it works, who cares? <laughs> Now, one thing you didn't see in uh, the, any of the construction videos is how we got the water to come out of the vents. Basically, got a little 12 volt submersible pump. That will dip in the water in the car. And then we run an extra live up to a switch, which I'll have connected up somewhere in the dashboard because I haven't actually done it yet, so I don't know where I've done that. Um, this is my first test, so I'll see if it actually works. We've got some little plumbing in the back. So there's like a bit of hose pipe going up to that one, some little tea pieces and bits and bobs in this one. I've not bothered with this one over here because I didn't want the pipe to get in the way of me trying to get the dashboard back in. And also that's like the dark corner on the video. You don't really film that that much. Right, let's give it a test. Should you in here. And there we are. I'll have turned the heaters on. And it'll all gush out that one. There you are. 
and that was the effect I was looking for. So that, that's passed, that'll go in the car. <laughs> to the airfield to give it like a proper test. We don't want the Google boys turning up and something weird happens when you actually drive it properly. So the suspension's a bit funny, you tend to jump around a little bit more. The servo thing's not working particularly well. The brakes are marginally better, but still quite terrible. Don't open the door. <laughs> No need to go home for a bath. Drive home and you're clean. Now one thing I uh, particularly should address for this video is I too am an E30 lover. I have a 325i Sport, very good condition one, and I would never chop that one up. This one was the worst convertible one I could find at the time that ran. So, you know, I tried my best to get the, the doggest car that was out there. Um, it wasn't too bad, actually. I mean, the back was rotten as anything, but once we started peeling away the inside tub, you know, it was okay, it was acceptable, which is a good thing for this, because we were trying to weld it up so it didn't leak. But there we are. Another thing, the burgers, unbelievably, did actually cook at speed, because I didn't, I didn't expect them to. I thought either the gas will get blown out or the heat just won't be able to get to them because you're moving, but it did. Rick did actually cook the burgers while I was driving along. And then of course I drove off really quick and slopped water all over it, but you know. <laughs> and one last thing, the YouTube Red series, which started the other week, is actually for kids. Because you know, when they first come to me, I thought, I've just released a kid's book, it's all come out at the same time, they'd compliment each other. But there we are, don't worry about it, the normal videos on the normal channel will continue as usual, that will not stop, there we go. Right. Oh, and Carl the uh, drone guy, he did a behind the scenes video of making the Spark Car video and the Google video. So you can go and see that. That'll be in the clickable box at the end. And then if you don't know what I'm on about, you want to see the other videos, that's in this clickable box. Boo! Don't know why I'm talking like that. Totally unnecessary, Colin. Totally unnecessary. Right, I'm going to stand in there until the 20 seconds of these screeny boxes, things can elapse.